are all set for the start of this game and here goes the start of the game. Well, Aldrin Di Caraccio, what a phenomenal ball that is. This is why he is so dangerous. LVU must be familiar of all these deliveries. Yes, but gone are those days. See this ball once again from Dika. And what a receive that was from Abhishek Ambedkar. But at the end, that was a corner kick. The first corner in this game. Their set-piece expert on the first post. Went for a flick header. But Hakom Esperis couldn't quite control it. Here comes uh, Bengaluru FC. Chance for them to take the lead. Here comes another opportunity. What a chance that was. And Ashi Rakta, a nervous start for him. Yes, look at this ball here. But then, at the end, Ashi Rakta making a timely clearance. But then again, the number 37. Here comes Ashi Rakta. Well, a fantastic throw on the right channel. Cross comes in. Shot, but couldn't quite connect it to perfection. Once again, what a move that was. Initiated by Ashir Akhtar on the flank to Kamalpreet. But at the end, the side wall it should have been much better from Jamie Collado. Is what is really going to give them a lot of confidence. Here comes a chance. Can he score from there? Pintu Mahata delivers the ball. And... Uh, the referee's whistle blows and a free, indirect free kick inside the box, Alvi. Yes, that's very surprising. This should have actually been a fall. But then what a run that was from Pintu Mahato. Look at this ball once again here and see this situation. The ball, I mean the defender, the number 14, Parag Srivas, looks like Dika is going to take a strike at the goal. Didika Ralte is getting ready. Didika! No! Got, got a block over there. Great opportunity. Wested. The best opportunity in the game for Kwesi Bengal. Look at this try here. But then, yes, that was a very good defending from Bangalore FC. But the strike should have been much better from the experienced lad, the captain. Well, a clever little back hill from Jaime Santos Colado. Cross comes in. No. A header was needed. Pintu Mahata was there as well. Yes, that was a good ball here by Boitang Haukip. In the box, Pintu Mahato a bit late there. But at the end, that was a good defending. And again, Bhutia plays the ball on the right. Look at that speed. Look at that acceleration. Here comes an opportunity. Here comes the first chance for them. It's the Utvok and comes out. And here comes the first goal. It's Bengaluru FC who takes the lead. And what a great finish at the end from Ajay Chetri, the midfielder. Look at this run here. What a great run that was. See the timely release. This strike should have been a goal. But at the end, what a great strike that was from Ajay Chetri. Look at this run once again. The number seven. Edmund Lalrindika, great strike, hitting the post, back in the game. But this is the move what has been, the danger has been done all by the number 31, Leon Agustin. And all he needs to do is clear the ball for safety. Barak Shivas, that's a, a towering uh, throw-in. I hope Nosad Musa will be happy. Yes, he was known for this long throw-ins. He was one of the best throw-ins taker in our playing days. And look at this goalkeeper here. When you have a defender there, you need not have to come out of your line. Again, a long ball played, a fine ball as well, but the chest receive wasn't that good. And it's a foul committed by Didika Ralte. Yes, that was a foul from Lal Rindika on Suresh Singh. Dika really needs to be careful. Yes, but this is what sometimes frustration is all about. And here we see the free kick once again in Dika's zone. Dika, as we know, that he can curl this ball very well in the box. And especially when you have the likes of... Didika Ralte is getting ready. Can Kwesus Bengal score from here? Didika Ralte, a curling one as well, a teasing one. But uh, unfortunately... There was no Quest's Bengal player to travel in. And here goes the whistle from uh, 
they just snuck Venka. We are all stuck for the second half and here goes the start of the second half. Okay, this is with Dasagar. What a shot! That was a crunching shot and could easily be a golden touch to start the day with. Yes, and this is the start what Quasis Bengal have been looking for. That was a great strike by Vidya. Look at the strike here. Even though the angle was narrow, but then what a strike that was. Pintu Mahato should have done much better, but at the end. Well, a clever ball played in as well. Bengaluru FC on the break. Well, a free kick from a dangerous spot. You can't just allow Leon Agustin to make those runs. Somebody needs to come down, close down to him. And this is where he gets a free kick at a very dangerous position. Dika really needs to be careful. They have some very good free kick takers. Here goes the free kick, but this time straight to the hands of uh, Ralte. That was a very quick free kick from the captain. Another chance, shot, and it's another goal. And who else? This is with Sagar Singh. The super sub in action with a magnificent strike. And his Bengal is back into the game. Yes, this is what this boy brings to the team. Since the time he has come in, he is one of the players to be watched out for. He did everything for the team. And at the end, the much needed equalizer for the team. Look at this strike here from a non playing foot. As we know, he is strong with his right foot. But here, what a great finish that was. He is getting to be the saviour for Quesas Bengal time and again from this season started. And yes, he is young. He's going to learn a lot of things. And with an experienced coach like Alejandro Menezes, he'll become a much, much better player in the days to come. Well, and we have a small question to you. Can you relate to the teams which played in the first half and the second, uh, second half if you're a Quesas Bengal fan? See, as I told you, Quest is Bengal, they were dominant. They were trying to attack most from his Bengal team in the second half. Here comes uh, a corner. The first change for Bangalore FC. Advait Shinde coming in place of Edmund Ralrindika. Bangalore FC have also changed their formation. Here comes the cross, a teasing one indeed, but Aditya Patra, what a game he's having today. And once again, it was Vidya Sagar Singh. was a great ball there by Vidya Sagar. And now here comes a chance. Again, can he score? He does it! He came, he saw, he conquered. Vidya Sagar Singh, the man of the picture. Yes. This is the moment what we've all been waiting for. He is the provider. The second scorer. He has been there. He has made a lot of difference since the time he has come in on the pitch. What a performance he's been having. Vidya Sagar, the super serve of Kwasis Bengal. What a great match we've been having. It was a great finish once again. Look at this. The finishing at the far post. That was a great finish. Giving no chance to the goalkeeper Aditya Patra. Albi Alejandro Menendez Garcia is known for creating strikers. We have seen in Spain as well. So Kamal Preet is making his way for Samad Ali Malik. Impact change once again, Alvi. Another change this time from the Blues. The player who is coming on is uh, Likmabam Rakesh Mitei. Nosad Musa forward coming in. Akas Dip Singh. Four minutes for Bangalore. And uh, whistle from the referee. I hope there was an infringement. And that is why that was completely unnecessary from the start of this game. Young lad, you cannot afford to do these things. A silly yellow card here. And then, if any more, in the next match, if you happen to see another one. To be very honest, it's a memorable game for the youngster. And that's the final whistle.